Hello, welcome to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to crack a, crack a cryptic today. <laughs> this is the Times crossword. Um, so let's have a look. From EU, I may not obtain anything. Uh, no, I don't know what that's talking about at all. Language arising when home improvements turned to ruin. Okay, well, home improvements, I'm thinking of DIY there. So if I turn DIY, I get yid, and then to ruin, to dish, perhaps. Um, so Yiddish, that's certainly a language. I'm not quite sure about the synonymity of dish and ruin, but dish the dirt, do you, I'm not sure, but I think it's probably right. Greet a guy's high pressure shower. Um, Shower. I want this to be an anagram of greet a guy. Um, high could be an anagram indicator. There is a Y in there. So a pressure shower could be a tire gauge. Lovely clue. Gauge is one of those words I can never spell. Oh, no, there we go. That looks right. um, six down. Most futile having papers in case. Um, okay, well, a good piece of crossword ease is when you see the word papers in the Times crossword, always be thinking of like papers as in your passport or your ID. So I'm thinking this begins with ID. And then an old word for in case would be lest. Um, and most futile, idlest. So I think that's probably correct. Opening, almost missing it. Opening, almost missing it. I don't know what that is. Seven down. Note minimum charge raised for support. Okay, well here, a minute again a, I think this is a sort of bit of crossword ease. A minimum charge I'm thinking of in terms of 1p. Now if I reverse 1p I get pi and then a support that would fit in here would be peer. And I can see but note is re here, as in do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So whenever you see note, always be thinking of those, um, those the spellings of the musical notes. Uh, okay, let's look at eight down. Sound made by homeless child, one who's very pale. Sound made by homeless child. Sure, should be able to do that, but can't. Girl returning from Dubai, not Naples. Well, if we um, if we look at the words here, returning from. Now, I I don't know whether it's because I've done a lot of these puzzles, but I'm immediately thinking. I wonder whether the answer is actually hidden in the words Dubai, not Naples not Naples in reverse order. And if we look there we can see Antonia spelt out backwards and that's obviously the name of the girl. So returning from there is a is a bit of a giveaway for me. Reassuring words presumably from soldiers getting twisted about. Reassuring words now now or something like that. Reassuring words now Hmm. Let's try and do some of these early down clues. Joining in informal greeting to civil rights leader. Uh, joining in informal greeting to civil rights leader. Would that be MLK or something like that? Hmm. Sure. Available and willing to participate in talks about merger finally. Well, yeah, I don't know the answer to this yet, but I can see which side of the clue is going to be the definition. Because we've got this about merger finally. Well, the final letter of merger is an R. And if this part of the clue is giving us wordplay, then I suspect available or available and willing will be the definition. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Not sure. Garments that are loose and short wind 
round at the back or wind round at the back. Always be wary of uh, assuming that the sort of natural reading of the clue will be the correct reading in the in the wordplay in the cryptic sense. Mm. No, I think we're going to need more help there. Twelve cross song that's penned about Grand German location. Reichstag. New. Uh, okay, Nuremberg. I think this is the answer. Now, why? Um, okay, a song can be a number, as in a number one hit. So a number is penning its surrounding re here, re, and re obviously can be an abbreviation for about. If you say something is re something, it is about it. And then G is grand, so difficult wordplay. Um, really, I needed to guess at a German location and then try and fit it to the clue. Scaremongering done in manner of Republican film. Okay, well, here, again, I'm looking at done in the manner of. And I'm thinking if something's done in the manner of, it's a la. You know, if you say something is a la something, it's done in the manner of. Republican can be abbreviated to R, so I just need a four-letter film at the end of this to give a term meaning scaremongering, and mist, mist is a type of film, so that looks like the right answer. Uh, right, mess tin article half full, fitting into this, well there is a word, if you do a few crosswords you'll come across it more and more, snafu. Tin here is the chemical element, so that gives us SN, which is the abbreviation for tin. An article, the indefinite article in speech, is an A. And then half of the word full is FU, and that gives us the word we need, snafu. Let's try four down. Come after opponents at table with petition. Well, again, when we see opponents at table, or even team of table or something like that, we should automatically be thinking about bridge, a bridge table. Who would be opponents at a bridge table? Well, they might be east and north. Um, and petition, if you petition something, you sue. Um, ensue means come after. So again, I'm seriously helped by having done a few of these before. Let's go back to this one. From EU, I may not. It looks like an anagram. Of EU I may not, you know, in the sense that there's no real anagram indicator there, but I think that the word from is suggesting that we can use the letters uh, in a different sense, and that would give us, um, perhaps it means anything. Let's see if we can construct it. You name it. That looks right, doesn't it? Retain anything, you name it. Yeah, that's okay. Available and willing. Okay, up for grabs. Let's have a look at that. That looks seems to fit what we have. And if something's available, it's up for grabs. If you're willing to participate, you're up for. And then gabs is a word which means talk, and that's surrounding the final letter of merger. So we had the right idea, we just couldn't uh, get it without the extra help of the U at the start. Okay, so this is our civil rights leader. Um, joining in, informal greeting. Well, an informal greeting might be the word yo. To a civil rights leader, ah, king. It is Martin Luther King, but it's just his last name. So yoking okay, is joining, it's the sense of how you would uh, you yoke oxen, for example, to uh, link them together. So garments here, caftans presumably, let's put that in and now justify it. Um, T 
diameter loose and short wind or wind round at the back. I need to come back to that in just I, I'll do that at the end. Um, 17 stingray either part. Hmm. Um, don't know that. Burden carrier first, perhaps soldier second. Burden carrier. <laughs> what a strange word. Um, Let's try and see if we can get 17 down. Ultimately helps a lot to notice weakness. Mm, again, not sure about that one either. We need to get one of these because otherwise we're kind of grinding to a halt. Bones from bag used by artist. Well, the plural of, I think it's sacrum, is sacra, S-A-C-R-A. -A. And a bag is a sack, S-A-C, followed by R-A for uh, artist. Very common abbreviation you'll see in crosswords. Um, you see the word artist, immediately don't think of the names of artists, think of R-A first, because it's more likely to be R-A. Maybe die young, close to home. Now you see how I read that there. Now, I'm sure most people when reading this clue would say maybe die young, but I, I don't take it for granted that the natural placing of this comma is going to be where it should actually sit. So when I read maybe die, I'm automatically starting to think of synonyms for the word die. Now, a die is a singular of the word dice, and a dice a die is a cube. So how does this work? Well, young. Um, as in a youngster, could be a cub, and then close to home is close to home, it's the last, it's the closing letter of the word home, which is an E, and that gives us, I suspect, the answer we need. Old singer has taken to the stage at ball. Old singer has taken to the stage. I suspect this is the name of an old singer, and that fills me with fear. Uh, 21 down. Putting out leader different. Dailies cooperate. Different. Dailies cooperate. Um, okay, well, if we put out the word different here, that can be an anagram indicator. And if we look at the word dailies, it's seven letters. So if I put out the leader of the word dailies and shuffle what I have left, could I get a word that means cooperate? Now, not as easy to see because of the strange spelling of the A's. I always find it difficult to conceive of a word that has I-A-I -I in consecutive positions, but that is going to be the answer there. Let's have a look at pasta. Pasta is stuff I fed our people. Pasta is stuff. If you send Maybe. I think it's this because the way I read the clue is it's saying stuff I would be fill, fill can be a synonym for stuff, followed by this I here. So fill I is fed i.e. it surrounds our people. Now our people are us. So fusilli here I think is going to be the answer. Now a weakness, I can now think of a phrase that does mean weakness here. It's the word soft spot. So let's put that in and see if we can understand it. So S well, ultimately helps means the last, the ultimate letter of the word helps. That gives us this S here. A lot if you do something a lot, you do it often or oft. To notice is to spot, and a weakness obviously is a soft spot. So we got there in the end. Stingray either part. Um,
Well, I want to put smart here. Just because it means sting. <laughs> um, is it ray? A shaft, maybe. Yes, it's shaft. Gosh, that's a difficult clue. So, this is a very unusual clue um, because there's no there's no real definition or clear definition either at the end or the, uh, the beginning, which is where we'd normally expect to. Instead, what you have to do is to take the word stingray, split it in two, so you get the word sting and the word ray, and then think of a word that means both of those things. Now, if you shaft someone, if you sting them, you shaft them in the sense of a con, and a ray of light is a shaft of light. So. I think shaft is the answer there, but a very unusual clue, um, not easy. Right, old singer has taken to the stage at ball. Old singer, Orbison, Roy Orbison. Okay, I can see the orb there could be a ball. Has taken to the stage. If you, <laughs> if is on means if you know if you say the play is on, it is it has been taken to the stage. So. That is, again, very difficult clue, very unusual, um, but I like it. Very little on which to gamble, it's said. Very little. Weenie? On which to gamble? I don't quite understand that one yet. Belt worn as arranged with MBE. Okay, well, this is going to be an anagram. Arranged there is screaming anagram, but the tricky part is to work out what to anagram. We need nine letters. So we have to read this carefully. If we read it as worn as arranged with the letters MBE, we would get to nine. So the, the letters worn as MBE. And the whole thing means belt. Um, so the answer is going to be what? Um, Now I can't see it. Belt. Mm, not sure. We'll, we'll get it in a minute. That's definitely going to be how the clue works. Portuguese name for colony. Mm, Goa, maybe. That's PC to the French. PC to the French. I'm thinking gendarme. Hmm, that's a very that's another very interesting clue that I can't quite pass. Coming suggestion leads to input quickly. Okay, well, how about touch type here? Are you thinking that? I'm wondering if that could be right. A kind suggestion, I think. A kind is obviously a type. And a suggestion is a touch. So if you give some a suggestion, if a, if a cake had a suggestion of ginger, it would have a touch of ginger. So I think touch type is the answer because obviously if you input quickly in a, on a keyboard, you touch type. Now that U might be useful. Let's see. Portuguese name for colony. Uh, hello, I can't see what that is still. He's composed, rested in other words. I'm wondering if this is a... Yeah, okay, it is. It's, this one is the name of a composer. And the way I solved it was I thought of a word, a short synonym for the word rested. Uh, and that gave me a clue. So rested could be sat. And in other words, i.e. If you were to write IE, you would be writing in other words. So, um, Sati obviously being the composer in question. Now, runner on jolly sort of engagement. Well, it's another very nice clue. A runner can be a ski. A jolly, well, that sounds like a sailor. We refer to a sailor as a jolly in our sea. A sailor could be a, a Royal Marine. And then, sort of, if something is sort of something, it's ish. Um, and that gives a skirmish, which is, of course, an engagement. So, not an easy clue, but uh, one that I, I like again. 
Race from Jim with long stride moving left. Hmm. Okay, well I have done this one and again I'm helped here by thinking of Jim as, as an abbreviation for PE. If you, if you do Jim, you do PE. And then I need a four letter word for a long stride that contains an L for left that I'm going to move the L around it. And obviously a long slide is, a stride is a loop. If I move the L about a bit, I can create the word people. And a people uh, would be a race. So uh, a race of people. So I think that's going to be correct. Right, tweets sound content reflected on character of Greek. And again, we have to be so careful with how we read clues because I read that as content, whereas actually it would have been easier if I'd said content. If somebody is content, um, if you sound content, you might purr. So let's reverse the word purr here. Add on a Greek character at the start, so a Greek letter, and we can get chirrup, which is a tweet. Reassuring words. So it is going to be not, isn't it? Presumably from soldiers getting twisted about. Not so. Get that, and I should be able to get this one as well. Oh dear! Portuguese name for colony. Hmm. Burden carrier first. Perhaps soldier second. Okay, very little on which to gamble, it said. Could this be steak? No. Okay. Risk. Very little. Spec? Yes, okay, if you speculate, um, a word for spec, a shortened form of speculate is spec, S P E C. And if you say that word, it would be pronounced exactly the same way as this word, which is obviously means very little, a speck of something. Um, again, not easy. Now we might be able to get this now. What is this? So second is going to be a, a, an assistant. So a burden carrier, could that be an ass? Yeah, okay, so an ass is something that, carry, that you know, carries your burdens. First is IST here, that's how you might write first down. And a soldier is an ant. And that put all of that together, you get assistant, and then an assistant is your second, your second in command might be an assistant. So very tricky again, lovely clue. Um, so a belt now, what's this going to be? Um, still can't quite see it. Sam Brown. Again, difficult to see the, the anagram of Brown there with an E at the end. Okay, so what's this one? That's PC to the French. This was B. Yes, it is, is it? It's a piece. Well, that's a bit naughty. I mean, is a personal computer really a Mac? I think that they're two are very different things. And to the French, I think, is saying um, AU. This word here is how it, you would write to the in, in French. Um, so I think the answer is Macau. 
uh, like that. It's not easy, and I'm not 100% confident. And then this system will be not to worry, presumably. Now, why? Um, reassuring words not to worry, presumably from soldiers. Soldiers are. Getting twisted about. Again, I'm going to come back and justify that at the end. Um, I think it must be right. I can't think of anything else that will fit. So, what's this one? Sound made by homeless child, one who's very pale. Sound made by homeless child, waif. One who's very. Hmm. Opening, almost missing it. Ah, okay. The word almost, uh, a, def a synonym for that would be nearly. Now, if nearly misses its opening, you would get the word early. And I think what's happening here is that opening is being used to define early. And then you almost have to take the whole clue. Um, or you have to read this it as referring to the word opening in order to get the wordplay to work. So we're left with this one, which is going to be sound made by homeless child, one who's very pale. Wayface? Wow, that's so hard. I think it's this. So this is, it sounds like the word WAIF, W-A-I-F. This, this first five letters here, that would be WAIF, would be probably how you would say that. And then this one is ACE, and ACE is obviously um, a one in cards, uh, or can be. And WAIFACE, I think, means... Um, somebody who's very pale. So we, we have managed to finish this, but it certainly was not easy today. Let's see if it's correct. I want to see a lot of green letters, if uh, possible. We'll just have a quick look at the two clues I needed to check on the word play on. Is it right? The computer's round to a halt again. Yes, it is. So let's just take a look. I think the 10 across I didn't understand. So garments that are loose and short wide round at the back. That's brutal. Okay. Um, at the back is aft, as in a, you might say the aft of the ship. And it would be the back of the ship. And then short wind, uh, to wind is to snake. If you shorten the word snake, you just get S-N-A-K, and that is being um, basically wound round the word aft. So the whole thing means garments that are loose for caftans. Do not worry if you, uh, if you struggle with that clue. That is really very hard. And, and 14. Reassuring words, okay. Presumably from soldiers. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Um, okay, so the, the start of this, the words not and to, if something is not to, the compiler is saying that that is presumably from, because if it's not to something, it must be from something. So not to, believe it or not, is being defined here by presumably from then soldiers must be other ranks, O-R, it's a very common abbreviation, and with Rai, forgetting Rai can mean twisted, and that is being put around the outside of O-R. So actually, I think on reflection, this was a really good puzzle to go through in some detail. This is a fabulous uh, collection of um, clues, um, not at all straightforward, so it probably does warrant the uh, going through it in some detail. I hope this was useful for those of you who are new to the Times crossword. Um, it's certainly, uh, don't worry if you couldn't solve too many of these cold. This was uh, one for 
the experience die, I think. Um, so thanks for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again next time.